So I'm gonna take a hand out. I'm gonna drive my leg up. I'm gonna lock that triangle in. I'm gonna pull that hand across the body. I'm gonna reach over here. I'm gonna grab my my leg to finish this triangle, right? My leg's gonna lock in. I'm gonna squeeze that triangle. Or even better, I turn to the side, I lock in, and I put my knees in line with each other, and I squeeze the triangle, which is way tighter. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the basic defense, and then we're gonna build from the, from the best case scenario to uh, I'm already locked into this thing and I'm about to die, okay? So, because there's different levels of defense depending upon how quickly they put it on you. Yeah. All right, so first and foremost, right, whenever I have anybody take my hand out and start throwing their leg up, okay, I need to be up and away from them. Okay, he's gonna drive his hips up and try to come get my leg, okay? So I'm, I'm still looking up. This is the best, okay? I don't want him getting his leg on top of my shoulder here at all, okay? So I can't have him getting his leg super high, all right? So if I can stay above the knee line with my shoulders, it's the best case scenario for me. I'm looking up at the sky. I'm able to start controlling his hip and I can start passing the guard, okay? So um, that's like I said, best case scenario. So we're here, let's go back and open guard. All right, so feet on the hips, all right? He goes to drive, take my hand out. He goes to drive that triangle, look. I'm coming into him, my, my head and my neck goes up. He never gets the opportunity to get his knee past my shoulder, right? I'm immediately gonna start controlling that hip bring him back down and I can start controlling and passing his guard by controlling his hip okay so that's best case scenario all right and then we're gonna work from there all right so uh, the next level of that he's got his leg up there right all right and he's got his foot on my shoulder but I do not let him get his my hand across my body okay so we're here right my hand I go C grip to the inside of the leg Okay, that's gonna prevent him from being able to pull my arm across. Okay, if I'm in here in any other way, shape, or form, he can shove my arm across my body. Okay, so don't rely upon your grip, all right? Put your thumb in there, make him break your thumb off to get it across, all right? He's not gonna be able to, but, all right? But if I got a C-grip in there, he's not gonna be able to pull my arm across my body. So I need to lock that C-grip in, all right? And I can stay here, and I can start to stack his knee to his nose, put pressure on him. In, in all different kind of ways, okay? So if he's here, close your box, close your box, all right? He might have this and he might be trying to fight it, right? My my C grip stays in there, I lock in tight to his hip, okay? I start to put the pressure on him, all right? And I can break that guard open and start passing again, okay? So that's the next level of triangle defense. First level up, next level, I got the C grip on the inside of the thigh, okay? All right? All right, so, the last level of triangle defense. Now he's pulled my arm across my body, all right? I'm in trouble. He starts to lock that foot across, all right? I'm gonna reach up here, I'm gonna grab his knee, all right? Walk it in, okay? I'm gonna reach up here, I'm gonna grab his knee, all right? I'm going to sprawl out and go chest to the floor, right over here, okay? I'm gonna drive his knee to the floor, mm. okay? So I'm going flat which is gonna put me in a, uh, I have to defend my arm here because he's gonna try to grab and arm bar me, right? He can swing his leg over and I'll be in trouble there. So this arm needs to make sure that it stays in nice and tight until I've got this open, right? Now I can start to, to get back to my knees and start working on my passing from there, okay? So the three levels of triangle defense, all right? We'll start first, all right? First level, he takes an arm out, he drives the leg up, I'm coming in. I'm not letting that knee get above my shoulder line, okay? Second level, he caught me here, he got his knee up there, right? I put my hand in here, all right? My arm cannot go across my body. I drive my elbow down and control his opposite hip when I do this, okay? So he can't pull it across. All right, if I'm floating it out there, he's gonna be fighting behind that elbow trying to pull my hand out and get it across still. So I hide my elbow down there. So if he tries to reach down there and pull it out, all right? Very difficult now. Okay, so I hide that elbow because I want to try to break the guard going this direction anyway. All right, lastly, he's pulled my arm across. He's got that triangle locked in now. I've got, if he's locked in and squeezing and pulling down on my head, I've got about eight seconds before I go to sleep, okay? So I'm going to reach up here. I'm going to grab his knee. I'm going to get his pant leg, and I'm going to get my hand on top of the knee so that when I drive down, my chest to the ground, 
it gets the most impact to open up the guard. Okay, so I sprawl and drive the chest to the ground, okay? My elbow stays nice and tight right here so that he can't take my arm out, okay? So now from here, I have to be very careful how I get up, all right? Because I, like I said, I don't want to lose this arm, right? Sometimes I'll fence that arm back in so that I can protect it. Maybe go into double unders, something like that, okay? So that's gonna be your three levels of triangle defense. All right, so hopefully you don't find yourself in the last one, but um, you need to practice all three of them. All right, so start with the open guard, work on the C grip, and then work on the last resort. We got it? Let's do it on three, two, three.